Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Friday, March 4th. Getting set for a good old soaking across the deep south. How much rain and uh, what about any severe weather chances? Let's discuss. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network. These were captured actually about 4.30 this morning, up a little early today. Had a busy day today. And goodness gracious, what are those people out there doing shopping at 4.30 a.m. at the old Walmart in Trustville? Who knows, but probably not a bad time to go shopping. Uh, it's cloudy and uh, kind of breezy out. There's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam, a few cars uh, out on Interstate 359. And from Hamilton, that's our Sky Cam at Hamilton High School up in Marion County in northwest Alabama. Okay, got the gathering storm off to the west. Got a wedge coming in from the east. It'll be an interesting day today. First off, temperatures around here, they really haven't changed all night. Uh, Tuscaloosa sitting at 60, and over in east Alabama, it's 54 for Anniston and Gadsden. But look at the southeastern numbers. Yeah, you see that wedge coming. Look to the east, and just nosing down the mountains. Uh, readings are in the mid-20s over parts of uh, North Carolina and Virginia. And that easterly wind will bring some of the cooler air into Alabama today. I would imagine our friends uh, near the Georgia border will probably hold where they are now in the mid-50s all day today. Uh, to the west, though, Tuscaloosa will probably see mid to upper 60s. The gradient will be pretty tight, but certainly not as mild as yesterday. Around the nation, you can see that uh, uh, up in the northern tip of Maine, it's about 10 below zero up there. And again, uh, not the classic wedge setup, but it's clearly a good one. And uh, it's going to be a day where if you live over in uh, Wadawi and Roanoke and places like that, it's going to be very chilly, a strong east wind, cloudy, and will start to turn wet as the day progresses. There's our watch warning map. And flash flood watches are up from uh, Memphis all the way to Buffalo. And that includes places like Nashville and Paducah, Lexington, Louisville, Indianapolis, and Cincinnati. And we might see some heavy rain here, no doubt about that. Uh, we'll check the severe weather outlook. This is for today, just a small risk uh, for parts of you know, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Missouri. Uh, Tulsa, Little Rock, Springfield would be in that. And then tomorrow, a tiny sliver of a slight risk near the Gulf Coast. New Orleans, Gulfport, Biloxi, Mobile, Gulf Shores, and Pensacola. Uh, no risk up this way. There's the QPF chart coming from uh, INSEP, the standard one we show. And this is suggesting rainfall amounts of about 2 inches here. And this is between now and Tuesday evening of next week. But I thought I'd show you the, R the RPM and goodness now, this thing has a bullseye near Tuscaloosa of over five inches. I don't know if we get that much, but I guess it's possible. But that's showing a large area of uh, uh, two to uh, three inch totals there across central Alabama. So hang on for a good soaking. We might deal with some flooding issues if this happens to verify. Uh, we'll check the 06 CGFS at noon today. There's the trough to the west. And uh, down below that, you can see that uh, one, that very cold 1,040 millibar high nosing in from the east. Cold air damming, the wedge, whatever you want to call it. And uh, again, rain breaks out. And let's get to the RPM because a lot of, you know, people have a lot of outdoor activities. And uh, this is the highest resolution model we've got. This is at uh, noon today. Things look relatively quiet. We'll go to midnight tonight. And uh, light rain should break out across a pretty good chunk of the state. Uh, tonight, the rain becomes more widespread. We'll go to 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And understand, that this is model output. You know, this, this is not the gospel here. The weather's going to do what it's going to do. Um, it could be raining over a larger area, but this is suggesting at 6 a.m., the bulk of the rain would be along and north of Interstate 59. We'll go to noon tomorrow, and that's when things start to get really heavy. And again, you can see that the RPM wants to bring this heavier rain into uh, West Alabama, uh, Tuscaloosa and Jasper and places like that. And again, there clearly could be some thunder, but uh, severe weather parameters look very marginal. There's 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, heavy rain, big-time rain there falling across the uh, much of the state. But again, the, the model is suggesting some of the heavier rain could be across central Alabama, 
And then by Saturday night at midnight, the whole thing starts to wind down. And then by Sunday, uh, everything is off to the east. We're not going to mention rain Sunday. A day is be cooler with a clearing sky and a high in the 50s. Pretty cool north wind. We'll check the instability values quickly. This is Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. And basically, th- there's just hardly any. A little bit up the Alabama-Mississippi border, but uh, that's not a big severe weather look for a spring. And the helicity values, again, higher way up north. So uh, I just don't think we have any severe weather issues, but clearly the rain can be heavy at times. And there's Monday. Monday morning is going to be cold. Uh, the uh, GFS is showing 35. I think we'll see numbers anywhere from probably 25 to 37. You know how it's all over the board on a clear, calm night, but many spots could see a freeze and widespread frost is likely. And that's why you don't need to be planning things this early. There's Tuesday. We start to warm up. High is well up in the 60s. Uh, Wednesday, pretty good-looking storm there. That's a 1,000 millibar low approaching Chicago with the trailing front. Uh, Wednesday night at midnight, that front comes in here with a nice squall line. And uh, that might bring the threat of strong winds and, um, you know, maybe some heavy rain. It would be a squall line type thing, a, a QLCS. And we'll monitor that for any sign of uh, severe weather, mainly damaging straight line winds. Then by Thursday, it's on by. And look at that colder air coming in here. 540 line almost down to Birmingham. Uh, yeah, maybe a few snow flurries up to the north of us. And uh, Friday morning, again, that might be a freeze easily. But we warm right back up uh, with a high close to 60 on Friday afternoon. Go out there a few more days, March 15th, the Ides of March. Beware. Uh, pretty good-looking trough. It's a positive tilt trough, not a negative tilt. And, again, that would be wet, maybe stormy. And then on the 19th at the end of the forecast period, the stronger winds aloft are right over us, a zonal flow, say, uh, what, about a 75-knot uh, max there, 500 millibars. And, uh, again, uh, look at the snow up north. Uh, this is right. Of course, this is pure voodoo, but we just like peeking out here. You know the deal. And, again, for us, though, that would be relatively mild. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.